So today I'm in my kitchen. Um, today I wanted to film for you a sort of organization haul and my plans and some tricks and some things I plan to do to get organized. A while ago I posted on the blog my goals for organization for this year. I've really been into everything having its place and I heard somewhere or read somewhere someone said something like, um, if everything has its place and you can see that it has its place, then there's no room for anything else. So I'm trying to find a place for everything. I've already done my um, coffee table. I go through and do my makeup in our bedroom like every day to keep it organized. Um, and so I think the living room is pretty much... Um, organized. You all saw that in my living room tour that I did. Um, there's a bug flying around in my house. I'm sorry. Um, so I think the living room is pretty much all organized right now because it's cold. We can't really get into our garage and do any organizing there. Um, so my next step is to organize the kitchen and the bathrooms. And so I went and I picked up some really affordable organizational tools, I guess. I actually walked into Dollar Tree the other day thinking, oh, I might have to scrounge around to find some like uh, organization things. They have an entire wall of bins and buckets and boxes and baskets and it's ridiculous and overwhelming and they have them in a lot of different colors as well um, they have like a blue and a pink and a green and red and I didn't know what to do because I it wasn't important to me to have a color I kind of wanted all white but I do have some things that are green some things that are white um, so once I do actually get to organizing I'm probably gonna go back and pick up more because it was so overwhelming I didn't know what I needed or what I wanted. Um, so this just goes to show you that literally there is just a wall of organization stuff for this coming year um, at the Dollar Tree. So I guess we'll go into the Dollar Tree stuff I got first. I actually have this huge bag here um, from the Dollar Tree. Um, in addition to that big wall, they also have some stuff in the home organization section where they have baskets and stuff. And so I just got some little, they're like the Sterilite containers. Um, I actually, I got three of these long drawer, or three sets of two of these long drawer organizers, and they're in that green color that they had. Um, these don't really have a name. They're just long drawer organizers. I plan on using some of these in the drunk drunk in, in the junk drawer here in the kitchen. Um, some of these maybe in the bathroom. I'm not quite sure yet. I just thought this would be a good option there. And then I also got two sets of three of these smaller organizers. They're like the ones, this one has foam in it. There's like the ones that you can put um, pins in and whatnot for your desk. They're actually like they're actually like half the size of one of these, if you can see. So like this is like two of those. But these all, all from the Dollar Tree, this pack is two for a dollar, and this one is three for a dollar. So I got three or two packs of those in the green color. Then I found some more. These are like a half size of these green ones this way though, horizontally, in white. I actually bought all the white ones that they had because I really wanted to stick with a white theme and I might spray paint these, I'm not sure. I might also go to the Dollar Tree that's by my work and see what other white um, things they had. They had a bunch, they had a bunch of different ones. They seemed they came, like they came in all the colors, but some were sold out of you know a certain box in the white or a certain box in the green or whatnot. So I don't know. I think I really want to just stick with white. Um, I got four of these. These are also coming to three pack three for a dollar. And then I got, I think that's it, eight of these bigger bins. And I figured that these could go under the sink in the, um, the dog's over there. I figured these could go under the sink here in the kitchen or under the sink in the bathroom to corral like cleaning products or something like that. And so again, this whole thing was like $8 because there are eight of them. And my whole goal for organization is the things that you don't see, they don't have to match, they don't have to be pretty. So the cabinets are closed, the drawers are closed. Having things like this 
um, is not going to bother me, especially if they're not matching, um, because you don't see them. The cabinets are closed, the drawers are closed. Now, I am all about organizing with baskets, and I will link my living room tour below, because in there I have some baskets where I organize our games, and some extra gaming systems, some of my candles, things like that. I also have some on my bookshelf, and a studio-ish desk area tour is probably coming soon, <laughs> I hope. Um, I use those baskets to corral my art supplies and everything like that. And those are on bookshelves. You can see them. Therefore, I want to have something prettier. Um, another basket that I want to get are those sort of like wire market baskets. I know they have some at Meijer and I just haven't picked them up yet for my laundry room. I got some other baskets. I'll actually go get them. Let me go get them. Originally, I got baskets like this, these little milk crate type of baskets. I got four of them from Big Lots for, I don't even know if it's the price so on them for $3.30 at Big Lots, and I was going to put these in the laundry room above on the shelves for light bulbs and detergent and also some of our linens and stuff because we don't have a linen closet, but I did not like how these looked. And I thought, well, the doors are closed. I'm not going to care. It'll be fine. But more often than not, the doors to the laundry room are open because I'm standing there and folding clothes. I'm getting something. We leave the door open when the dryer's going so nothing catches on fire. <laughs> you know, so more often than not, the doors are actually open. So I don't, I don't want to see something ugly in there. You know, I want to have that as sort of a, I don't know. A nice space even though it's just the laundry room I don't know I feel like I feel like it's a room and it needs to be pretty I don't know so I haven't really gotten to that I was going to do a laundry room makeover in January but that didn't happen because I just was unsatisfied with these bins and I didn't know what to do but then I found those market ones at Meyer. I haven't picked them up so instead so these guys are perfect for files I got these hanging file folder thingy do's from Walmart we're gonna use them Zach and I are going to use them for some of his papers for work. I have four of these baskets, so I'm sure that I can find some other things to file away. Um, I also have a home binder that I really need to get organized. So um, I got, and I don't like how it is right now, there's too much stuff actually packed into it. So I got something else that's here in my um, little hall too to go with that. So let me set this out of the way. So then also from Big Lots, I have another little bag right here, um, are some things for the kitchen as well, but also some things for the home binders. The first thing that's going to be for the kitchen are these tiered, two tiered mesh organizers. And in the picture here, it has images of, or an image of like Tabasco sauce and taco seasonings and other sort of packets in these little things. We have a little, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's a little um, cabinet right here. And it has, it's not very organized. Should I even open it? I'll open it. It has all a bunch of stuff in it that's just not organized at all. There's Kool-Aid packets. Like, I don't even know how many Taco Bell, Taco Bell, how many taco mixes we have, what Kool-Aid we have, you know, that kind of thing. So I think these will fit perfectly in there. And then bigger stuff can go in the back. Um, I'm just pretty excited about this. So there's those two things. And then the next stuff goes with our home binder, which I'm not really going to get out right now because it's under some crap that needs to be reorganized. So I got this um, poly expandable file, and it has 12 um, pockets in it. And the binder that I currently have has 12 poly inserts that I put the bills in. And I literally, I really stopped doing it about August of last year. And I really want to get back into it because... Um, it just really frustrates me when I can't find the bills or I don't know where they are and I just need to, I want to go back to my old system where I kept them up here, had when they were to be paid and then paid them and stuck them in the, um, the binder or the, the pocket that goes with the month. So this has 12, oh, so this has the 12 sections here, um, so one for each month. I also got these um, decorative file folders to put inside for each month. Maybe there's other things that I want to keep in there, or I want to keep two years going, or something, or I can use them for something else. They can always fit in that green basket there. Um, these I also got from, Wal from Walmart, from Big Lots. Let's open them up. I don't even know. I know there's about three different patterns. And it comes with eight. Uh -oh. It comes with eight. 
and it comes with eight file folders. So let's see here. There's this springy orange and pink and blue. Then there's a more pastel colored one. And then and there seems to be three of those, three of the um, other ones, and two of these really nice pretty damask ones, which would match our bedroom. But that's neither here nor there. So, so there's that. I got two packs of those. So I'm excited to see how those can help me um, get back into being organized with my home binder. And then we're also working on, or I'm working on, the downstairs bathroom. And I kind of want to try and decorate it on a, like a really small budget. I've already spent $6 towards it. So I'm not sure if I want to do something like under 50 or under 100. I feel like it's really easy to decorate your bathroom under $100 and organize it. Like, all of this here is under $100, you know what I mean? So. Um, and decorate it. So I need to get towels, I need to get a new um, shower curtain, I need to get organizing things for that. But what I got for whew, the downstairs there to hold maybe towels or something on the sink are, I got two of these little owl, what were they called? Owl planters. So they were at Walgreens for $2.99 um, in their new spring section. It's usually where their seasonal stuff is, right in the middle there. Um, so I got two of these. These would actually be really cute for makeup brushes or even as planters. But like I said, I got two of them. So yeah, and again, I got something prettier to put out for organization where you will see it. And I don't care what the inside of the drawers look like, if they have matching, you know, green organizers or if they have green and white and pink and blue. Um, you know, it's not really gonna bother me that much. I would like to have all white. I feel like if you have an all, all the same color, it actually makes it, you know, more uniform. But I mean, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see those drawers. You don't walk in and immediately open every cabinet, you know, it's the first impression of niceness, I guess. I guess that's kind of bad then because you are got mixed match stuff going on in your drawers, but once again, you know, you can just pick up affordable things um, that look nice. And so we are getting a TJ Maxx here near where we live. They just opened a Kohl's, now we're getting a TJ Maxx, and so I'm excited to go find some things there as well. I'm also excited to look for things at the thrift store. Um, I need to pick up more like actual wicker baskets. I want to tackle the upstairs bathroom better as well with baskets and shelves and stuff. So I don't know. I hope you all liked my Dollar Tree slash Big Lots slash Walgreens organization haul. Um, if you want to follow along on my organizing journey, I will link my blog below. It's 516thsblog.com. You can also find crafts and makeup and other lifestyle related things. If you want to keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me there. My um, username is at 516ths. Excuse me. My username is at 516ths, and I will keep you updated on my organization. I'll probably post a tour of other rooms of our house. Um, so I will talk to you all later. Bye.